It's four o'clock in the evening. Pete, you may not remember this. But very early on, when we first started dating, we went out for a bike ride with another couple. When we got to the top of the climb, our friend turned to his girlfriend and said, I'm proud of you, babe. So I turned to you and asked, are you proud of me? <laughs> and you looked at me slightly confused by the question. And then you said, I guess so, but I knew you could do this. Probably even more than I knew I could do it myself. Since that day, you haven't needed to say anything for me to know that you are 100% behind me, always. Every day over the past five years has made me more grateful and proud to be your partner. I promise to live in your world some days, but mostly continue to create our world together. I promise to continue to do the hard things, knowing that we can get through anything. I promise to be your best friend every day, and I promise to love you forever. I'm so proud of what we've built, and I'm so excited for what's next. Lily, from the first second I met you, I knew I was lucky. I'm so proud to be standing next to you today. You're the smartest and most rational person I know. And I'm very lucky that you somehow still go along with my less rational ideas. Some of the most defining moments and vivid memories of our relationship have been well together in nature. These have been our best moments, high up in the mountains or deep in the forest. This is where we've learned so much about each other through words and actions. This is where we share the most joy, share our deepest aspirations in our individual and collective lives, solve our challenges, and create a blueprint of our foundation that we will take forward. Being in these places with you, everything is clear and vivid. Let's never stop going into the woods. I vow to always be on your side and steadfast partner in life. I can't wait to continue this adventure together, build community together, dream together. I'll support you and be your best friend along the way. I love you. You have my heart forever. I'm going to tell you that I love you. Tell you that I'll miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Yes, I'm gonna let you know just how much I tell your mama. I tell your papa too. I'm gonna let everyone know about my love. So I really hope you love me too. Yeah, I really hope you love me too. I'm always a little curious where Lily actually came from. In a family of ski coaches and painters, and ski coaches that paint, and painters that ski coach, myself included, Lily has gone the complete opposite direction. She's a tech executive working in AI at Google. And for those of you who don't know AI, um, you can look it up on Google. <laughs> I had to get one Google joke in. Once again, you've landed right where you're supposed to, in Vermont, most of the time, and with Pete, all of the time. Oh, there's something deep inside, yeah, that really makes me want to speak my mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are a renaissance man. But more importantly, despite my habit of pushing you to your limits, you've been an incredible brother all these years. You've always been there for me, whether it's been drinking beers, life advice, cutting down trees, 
After all, Lizzie and I did name our first child Pete. So you clearly made a strong impression. 